Hi everyone, good morning. It's another episode of Just a Chat with Bumi Alavi. How has been your week? Yes, my own has been so amazing. So, you know, full of activities, but you know, we still move and we're still standing, we're still living hell and hearty, and I believe you're also doing fine today. Yes, I'm here with my lovely sisters, and from my right here, I have my Auntie Vicky, <laughs> our one and only Auntie Vicky, our one and only uh, Eb's mama. <laughs> as in, keep calling. I'm going to call you to go. <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> table, <laughs> table. <laughs> you know, she, you know, I thought I'm going to still open the page. Oh this my God. Anything that like has to do with women, or even men, anything that has to do with women, <laughs> <anything that's laughs> with women <laughs> using some natural, no, <laughs> it's, a, it's something that you need to what really go into. Consider that, we, you know, when we talk about some herbs, some natural oh. stuff to do to boost your, boost your as a woman. Not even your health, your health, BP, BP your your, in, your inner room agenda. Blow, 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 blow. So that's Auntie Vicky. You're welcome. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm good. I'm good. good to see you. Awesome. Awesome. Good to and be I, here again. How is the <laughs> over there? The place is good. The place is good. I'm very boring. Fresh. You guys are fresh. You're looking fresh. Like, like today's break. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> over here we have someone special that's a special day. Yes, sir. So. Was yesterday. <laughs> and we have emoji in the building. Yesterday was a birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> You're looking so cool and calm. As and I understand you, brand new year. New year, new year. New year, new year. You have that thing that when you are clocking a new year, you have a kind of you thing. Know? Like, ah. I know. It's like Martin Dag by the way. Martin Dag. Martin Dag. No, if you think that I in your mind you age easily. Yeah, yeah. So, that's what I just said. Okay, I'm just starting life. Yeah, so, it's another phase of yeah, my life. Yeah, it's just a number yes, added now, to me. Added to added me. Added to you. Um, so your matter. mind, you are still young at my heart. <laughs> that's everything. it. Uh, uh. No, no, it's looking beautiful. Thank so you. So how are you today? Yeah, fine, thank you. Thank you. Please help us wish her happy birthday. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> yes, yeah, so so it's been um, an amazing time out for the week, and today, hmm, see this. I don't want to call this Afroco G style when I was talking about me at the same time. <laughs> I say, no, no, seriously, no, what we do is just talk about some things that we see that are happening in the society, mm -hmm. and we see that they are reality mm -hmm. people that yeah. people go through mm -hmm. actually when i saw that video i was like could this be real is this actual because i don't really want to fall for those mm -hmm. kind of things okay. but when i saw the way it was a vox pop mm -hmm. so uh, the lady reported um, the incident to the lady uh, the other, another lady doing vox pop and here's the story she told her that her other sister who she is living with uh told her to help her do carry out some assignments okay let's not be quick she said <laughs> because she just put to bed and she just put to bed or something like that you saw the video right i know you, you, just, you, you know, <laughs> she just put to bed <laughs> and so probably, i don't know you through cs or whatever and because her husband is somebody that is always is a hyper man I always want sex regularly. Every day. Every day. Maybe the man has been starving for nine months. And after she put to bed, she still feels she's not really fit to mm. continue having sex. And she just, <laughs> she connected with the sister that, please, mm. in order for my husband not to take his total out, uh, his pricky pricky out <laughs> to, for general <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> tell me, please. <laughs> I'm still born again. I'm still a child. Please call the thing. His mom will. Uh, hey. <laughs> Let us respect ourselves on this. So, on this. so, so that he, she, so that he can, he yeah. can be within the family. Okay. It, will, it will be a family thing. It will okay. be a third party. So <laughs> she can assist her by assisting her husband mm. on the bed. Mm. That is, mm. in summary, mm. she can assist her to be having mm. sex with her husband mm. while she heals of the childbirth. And she agreed. She's a young girl. I don't and know her age. And the husband agreed too. Ah. Ah. 
Who will not see free something and agree? Hmm. Yeah, Emoji, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Who will not see free this and something that has been entering a hype? Is ah, that hey, hey. You know, Maybe he was even admiring the girl. The girl before, mm, but she was, way, but he was trying to mm. just hold by that. I don't let. But now the the wife now gave him free access to the to the sister. Oh, no, and I think they they agreed. They team up. They had an agreement, and the parole was just going. Hey, I can't, I can't imagine. To close my um, mouth. Yes. I can't, I can't <laughs> because Sometimes. despite the fact that I've heard about the story, I, I, I saw it. I read. I, I actually I watched it online. Watch I'm still taking a back. No, let me, let me. For people that didn't see the story, okay. or was watching. Mm. So the parole was going maybe for perhaps months. Months. Yes, I don't know. Yes. Now mm. because the first time the lady said she took him, she ah. aborted for the husband. The second time she took him, she aborted. Now the third, time, oh. the third time, the third time now, the lady mm. said the doctor told her that her life is at risk if she abort again, that she is not ready to abort. I beg, I need to step so, down. <laughs> <laughs> so that is where the yam pepper scatter scatter for grand and they mm. brought their case. <laughs> Come. <laughs> it's a uh, social media that okay this is what actually happened i don't want to abort for my my sister's husband and you know very well okay what happened what conspired wow. between the wow. three of you and she had to mm. open up that mm. she need help mm. that she can't do it alone that they are really threatening her mm. because they want her to abort the pregnancy so my people my mm. fellow sisters mm. in the lord mm. <laughs> this is what is happening and somebody said that it's because we hear this one outside that a lot of people are really having issues truly. With because fine no, truly, truly some people you know some spouses they have this challenge of okay when the wife put to bed some people for nine months i saw one that posted it on uh on on, on i think on instagram that said okay the wife he was asking the wife for I think maybe the wife just put to bed also maybe after he was asking that for how how many months should you be asking your wife for sex after maybe check back okay. and she was like he, well, the man was asking a lady on on instagram she's an influencer that okay this wife oh i've been asking her for sex she's still declining me that now oh, if i go out now they'll be saying our man is going you know trying to uh, you know, he was trying to say, okay, you are the one depriving me that yeah, what is it normal? Defines, yeah. And people were like, are you the one? Do you know what she's going through in her body? Do you know the healing process? Do you know whether she's having a pre post uh, traumatic, yes, uh, you exactly. know? You understand that? Why would you be saying that it's because maybe she, he has it in mind? That why would you be threatening a woman that because she's not giving you sure. sex? After, you understand? But let's just talk about it. But so I'm just saying this because, you know, sometimes people will feel like, oh, what's the big deal? It doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. But it does happen. Mm -hmm. So. That is the outcome of the story. Mm. Where do we? I think you you watch it. Is is it could be apropos, but it is a real life issue that yes. people are really going through. Mm. Men, you know, we talk for some weeks now. We talk about mm. men, their desire for sex. You know, you can't really. We talk about mm. it at like I don't want to go back to that, but uh, mm. Mama, mm. You watch the no, story. no. Initially, when I watched, I actually thought it was a prank. Okay, okay. I, I actually I thought, thought maybe so they were well pranking too. one another okay. or something. But when you know the whole thing was moving the way the lady was talking and the sister was just you know cursing and, mm. and all and the that husband too. the husband i was like mm. no the man actually thought he did the right thing yeah because the way he was just flaunting yeah, it he didn't and really the, care the, the, the f1 tree, the f1 of tree the man, and all I that was like, ah. see i will not sit here and say it doesn't happen or it has never happened mm. but for crying out loud i want to first if i if i wish i had the opportunity to speak to the woman as, as in the, the wife, wife. Whether or not is your sister, as long as it's another woman, mm. is adultery. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a serious mm -hmm. one. Serious one. Then, aside that, whatever you feel that you're protecting, what makes you think your your sister has not slept with multiple men, mm. and that sleeping with your husband mm. is safe? It's safe. She didn't even think about the safety of her own sister. It's her selfishness so that drove her into that it. To protect yes. the man. Because you have put the girl's life in danger. Now, assuming the girl did abortion several times and her womb got removed, will her husband marry her? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will she accept for her sister to be a second wife mm -hmm. to the man? Mm -hmm. For God's sake, it's sacrilege. I don't care the relationship they have. 
I do not want to know what transpired between the man, the wife, and the child, and, the, and that girl. That was inhuman. But what, what I feel is, should, should the man have even agreed to that, that kind of a thing? It it was even even if the wife it, even suggests that to him. Let me tell you something. You understand? Because it shows that the man himself had always had a, an eye for that girl. Not only the girl. But I heard not only the not girl, only because the, girl. You know, the wife is trying to yes. the wife is trying to protect him protect, from going, yeah, outside, going, but going out. But who told but, her that the man does not even satisfy himself? Exactly. Outside. 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 Even with the sister being with, there, yeah. that is sleeping with her, is he always at home at all that times? So I'm sure he still has his free time out there. Outside. And you can't put your own sister's life in danger because of your own selfishness. And and it's now, just like a, it's a license. <laughs> For the man to even go out to do it because you've it. opened, you've opened the door the for him. You have it in mind. You put that. You've, you've opened that door that. for him to, to, I mean, to cheat. That is it. Now, 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 you know, there's another story I said I saw. You know, I'm coming back to that yeah. because we have to look at this on both sides too. Okay, men all, always talk about their desire that their drive okay. for sex is very high, and yeah. you know, a lot of them always talk about that. Okay, there's a limit to which they can really owe themselves. Yeah. If their wife is depriving them, whether by by right or by condition or by whatever, yeah, yeah. you understand what I'm talking about. Some will say, okay, because there's no money. Some will say, okay, because of health issue. Yeah. And man will say, ah, but how long do I not want to mm. be, be like this and be? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you need no. a man here to, to talk about that. <laughs> to but break that you, down. You know, about, you know, let's look at it from both sides. Okay. okay. Everybody needs to, it's a two-way thing. The man has right to sex. The woman to has right to sex. Yes, sure. But both. in a situation whereby there's a condition, some people, for that good mind, but I've seen a, 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 a man that told me that Anytime the wife gets pregnant, in fact, she don't, he doesn't even want the wife to get pregnant because okay. once she gets pregnant, that nine months, the doctor will tell them that no sex for that nine months. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, they've been yeah, doing it, it before, as in the, the pregnancy keeps coming yes. down. Mm. Yeah. So they, they now told them that, okay, realistically, fine, you need this actually, but between just having sex and having a baby, baby know, yeah, which one is more important? important. Yeah. So, you know, it takes a man that, I, maybe it takes a man that is. Very, very disciplined. Mm -hmm. very, 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 very. I use very, very mm. in quotes. Mm. 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 Very, very disciplined mm. quote to say I want to stay for nine months. Over nine months. Eh? Over nine Over months. Nine months. Eh? After nine months. After so nine. the man is waiting. So for that nine months, you know, I've tried to interview him. Man, how long can you stay without having sex? Mm. Abby? Okay, let me so, just <laughs> let, let me let me just show because we have to look at both sides. Okay, are we trying to support? Okay, it's okay. Can they really control themselves for those period of time, or how do we help the situation? Okay, the man that the what they gave uh, him the free license to do anything he likes with the sister, with the wife sister. Should no. we say okay? He can't really control himself, or he's trying to help himself out of a situation. So hmm. maybe let yeah. let me hear yeah. from yeah. Mo Jesus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, the question you asked that uh, for how long mm. can a man as in hold Stay, himself? It it varies mm. for for men to men. Yes, mm. it okay. varies for men to men. Mm. But uh, I believe that for a married man, one it's not that your wife is uh, um, depriving you from your rights uh, mm -hmm. as in intentionally as in the woman wants to use it. Let me use this to prepare you or something. Mm -hmm. Punish. But, but uh, I just I, I know why I use paper. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Okay. But this it has a condition, mm. and this baby that this baby it's for the two of you. Oh, mm -hmm. So whenever that's to me. I okay. believe because I know I know of uh, women. Women can stay for yeah years. Women, some women know there's some women that Not can now. stay. Not, Not now. Eh? Some See, women out there will this stay. this women. There are some women. Some you women you can only talk stay. about yourself. There are mm -hmm. some women that they say they can't stay, so as in they can't stay mm -hmm. for um, stay alone without having it. Maybe like even. Maybe once in a in a day I be you know people have different drives. Okay, even with condition, maybe the, uh, be, uh, with the uh, uh, man's condition, maybe health wise or something. There are some women that can't stay, so mm -hmm. it was before that we think okay, it's, it's only men. Yeah, there are some women that can't actually stay, mm -hmm. so it's not only a man thing now. Huh. Mm -hmm. So this one, it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that yeah, so about <laughs> let let's go back to this um, this scenario. Okay. 
in this scenario, I will not support such. Okay. Because in Yoruba land is abomination. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's abomination. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> many other parts. I think it's abomination so everywhere. To me, I am looking at it as is it that they have eating agenda? Are they using it for ritual for something? or something? Mm -hmm. I thought because I thought okay, now, now now you said um uh nine months for nine months because mm -hmm. I have not watched the video. Okay. I wouldn't know maybe is during the woman's pregnancy. And after birth, after giving birth, she yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, that should be when you give birth after the nine months. When you give birth, it should be within a month, two months. You are back. You are, not for everybody. Not for everybody. Mm. Yes. People see it because I did ah. see it twice. I don't know. Ah. I didn't. And the second, my second see it had complication. And after after uh, two months, I was. Back to my normal self, you understand? That is that's why that's I say it true. varies from it varies. You body, see, there are some body, body the way some people's body, yeah, body heals, yeah, but body emotions. Because so. in this in this case, you said two abortion. For two abortion to have occurred, we, we are not talking about two months. Mm -hmm. We are not talking about three months. Wait, wait they won't you know this story we might not even hear the details of the, the thing. Details, Maybe right. they had the agreement that okay, for this period of time that I'm going to heal. Maybe after two months I'm going to and heal. And the man cannot use protection. That one has to thing. be. And you then, understand? I think you perhaps, were doing pregnancy were supposed... mm -hmm. through so, childbirth. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think the story was for actually from, from pregnancy, pregnancy to childbirth. Oh, childbirth. okay. So it was really okay. that so process that. Like process. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing was a continuous thing. Oof. And honestly, for me, if I if I'm actually to look at it properly, yes, you might look at the girl that yes, yeah, she was, she's a bit uh, an, uh, uh, an adult. But the truth about it, what are the situations, the circumstances Sur yes, surrounding yes. her agreeing or accepting to mm. what it is mm. that mm. the sister, you know, you know, brought forth to her? Because for a girl like that, she will have somebody else outside. So yeah, why would I, you? I, 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 I believe that the three parties as they have to play oh definitely the woman oh no definitely. the woman who i see as the one who carries the bulk of the blame is the one that is selfish oh yeah, very selfish. Very selfish she's very self-centered self-centered and call her uncultured every, you understand use yeah. the word that's the woman Cultured. then the man that also see a freebie and he quickly jumps on it who cannot say no to it and the, the, the younger in, sister no i think i think there is i was like you know i was like okay the younger sister She's at least she's an adult. She's she's mad. You know, we we're saying something behind yeah. the camera that she they, they gave her some things. Yeah. They, they, mm. I think she opened a shop for her. She's yeah. living with them. Yeah, do you sister, understand? So if the sister, why should she, the sister to agree? Why should she agree no. to this? As in, Let they me. are giving you some conditions. You can't go out and say, okay, to hell with you and your money. Let me go out and stay somewhere now, else. The truth why about it, I... we're not there. But let me speak. Let me kind of speak into her mind a little bit. Let okay, me see if okay. I can actually just mm -hmm. probe into yes. it. Because the truth about it is, she doesn't have anybody in Lagos, for example, because okay. that's the reason why she's staying with her sister. Yeah, sure. And maybe she she's the only relative. Okay. Maybe she's the only relative she has in Lagos, in Lagos at this time. And that's where she fits. That's where she they, lives. They pay her school fees. They pay fees, her school fees. They are, and a lot of people that put their, themselves on that. Do you get... Of... Now, now the condition was that mm. I'm going to... Okay, for, for you to do this for me, since you say you want to do business, or maybe, uh, I, I think she's done yeah. with secondary mm -hmm. school. Yes. And since you say you want to do this business, okay, I will open a very big shop for mm. you, which she did. I will be giving you monthly upkeep, and you just take care of yourself, yes. and we'll take care of you, don't mm. worry. It's because I don't want my husband to go out there to sleep with another woman. Hey, you know you are my sister, you are my blood, I can take it. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. And the lady will be like, okay, let me help my sister. Hmm. The truth about it, as a young girl, she needs money. Mm -hmm. help my let me help my sister as a young girl i need money to take care of myself at least i'll take care buy some necessary things for myself and i have a shop to my name that i'm doing something big don't forget maybe her parents their parents don't even know i want to believe they don't even know what is transpiring or what has transpired between these two people until now that it has entered social media mm -hmm. Now she took in twice, you ask her to abort. In the process of abortion, she dies. What mm. do you tell your parents? Mm. Her life has been cut short. That woman didn't think of that. That was selfish on her part. I, let, let's even agree that the young girl accepted it out of greed. Mm. 
Because that's the word I will use. Yes, I want to yes, I'll I'll be free because I can pack my things. I don't care. Okay, even, of yes, course, from your parents, and, uh, you know, so go back perhaps, to my parents. Or perhaps, like, perhaps there is something going on between the girl and the, the husband. And the husband, because I believe I wanted to say, okay, maybe they took advantage of the girl's that's innocence it. before mm -hmm. by luring him to say, okay, yeah. I want to give you this. But at the same time, the girl has the right to say, to say no. no. Yeah, that's it. Do you understand? Like, I can't just imagine it as in having a sexual intercourse with my 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 sister's husband mm -hmm. because she, she didn't you, really you, she didn't you think can't of her. because she didn't you think can't of her. your mind is quite different from different another from person her. our focus are different That's our mindset it. are different That's our different. belief system our value systems are different That's it. Do you understand and so, this is not, it's not a rape case. It's, it's not. A case it's that is, it's, it's, yes, consensual. serious one. They both you agreed understand? to it. And I, like I said, like I said, she was probably, two things here. We can accept it or leave it. She was actually maybe blackmailed into it, one, or, or she willingly give her consent. Give her now, consent. when I mean blackmail, it could be like, okay, if you don't do it, you get out of my house. If you don't do it, you are this, you are that. And they call her all manner of names. You are wicked. And maybe her mind mm. cannot accept all that from her sister. Mm. That why would my sister tell me this? And the sister would tell her the reason why it is right mm. for her to do it. Okay, you know now, we are blood. Mm. If my husband go to another place, you know he can bring disease. He can bring mm -hmm. to all manner of things to me. So that's why I use that word blackmail. And in her at her tender age or young age that she is, maybe she's still just beginning to be an adult. Mm. I see that mm. girl between the age of 18 mm -hmm. to 21. Oh. I see that age, to be frank. I see that age in her. So, <sighs> and the truth about it is, at this age, young girls out there want, they want to, to have fun. They're desperate. They want to mm. explore. Yeah. Yes, mm. and they want money. Mm. Quick one. Yeah. So, at that time, she will wait and say, ah, well, I will add it to the little that I'm getting yeah. from outside. Mm. And Shebi is my sister that yeah, said sure. it's not. It's her husband. He's not right. He's not wrong. So if she's the one asking me to do it, let me choke her. Now it backfired because after two pregnancy, she lost. It probably dawned on her that mm. I may probably be losing my womb. If I try anything again, mm. don't forget, she may have had a conversation with the sister and like, okay, will this man eventually marry me? Mm. Mm. And the sister will be like, are you okay? I'm just trying to play a rough one here. Mm -hmm. that can you marry? If you could tell me at that time that two sisters cannot marry one husband, why would you tell me that to do, I, this. To do this? Because she won't even have a relationship okay, with her own. Yes. Okay, mama, now that they've introduced the, the, the girl to the man, yeah. After the whole thing, because I think it should have a, a, a time limit that, okay, mm -hmm. maybe after um, agreement, I, as in time that, okay, maybe after a year that I'm, 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 I'm okay, back. I'm sound, I'm back, then you back out. Do you think it should be easier for the you lady that the girl can not back, back out? out. Oh, the man said, I, if a man that has tasted, to that has tasted the man to uh, back out. Uh, so uh, well, while the uh, sister uh, is not at home, the man will... So the sister didn't think about all but, but this. You, you, you know, there, there are a lot of ways we expose, perhaps maybe yeah. women, we expose our men to some things oh, yeah. sure. that we sure. don't know. Exactly. Because I think there was a time you talk about, is it the man or the woman that you said the, the man was asking, the woman was asking the husband for money and okay. the man said, we yes, yes, allow yes, three yes. some or... Exactly, yeah. I'll, I don't know if the woman even consented or... The woman was the one that consented to me. She told the husband... That she should. That I will bring two women... She, more, now, would you in, agree? With us so that you, we can see you, together. you understand those kind of things. You know, sometimes when you yeah, look at some so things, I will be like, oh. some people will say, okay, because I can't. You know, there are a lot of issues that are happening in this, mm -hmm. as in this context, mm -hmm. that we can't really defend because number one, we don't know the yeah, underlying exactly, the issue. Yeah. You we are understand? Just speaking the you know, we've, we've seen a lot of things. Okay. okay, some people. It even happens with maybe a uh, housemaid. Mm -hmm. yes, like intentionally, yes. they will say, okay, the housemaid yes. shoes. Be sleeping with the man so that at least some people may because the woman too wants to have her own way. Like there's a story, there's a there's a topic I want us to even I think this is great. We can just do introduction okay. to that topic of you know when women they are trying to take the turn the table around now. Okay. You know, before they always say, Okay, when a man goes out after another woman okay. and the woman is just waiting, my husband is looking outside, they will say, Okay. My woman, you can't leave your marriage. You, you have to go and pray. Go to the war room. Go and watch war room. Pray for your husband to come back home. 
Hey. Uh, if you have extra weight, go to the gym. Make sure you gain. Go and lose weight. You say maybe you are not. Yes, so you are not a good man. You are not one thousand for your wife. You are not one thousand for your wife. Bacteria. Go and begin to take care of your husband. Man. Pamper your husband. Pull out. Oh, Lord, really, you are welcome. What do you want to do today? You know, pamper him. Yeah. You know, all those things they always tell women to do. You know, but now this Gen Z generation, no, the table is turning around. Yeah, so <laughs> the man has to do the pampering. Yeah, uh, calm down. <laughs> you know, I don't maybe I don't know who 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 started this. Uh, okay. This uh, what is it? what should I call it now? As in this this uh. Ah, I wanted to call it a name. It's like okay. the, like a move. This move. Okay. Like, okay. okay. What is good for the, <laughs> the, the what is good, good for, for the, the guy? Good for the goose. What is good for the goose? For the goose is good for the guy. Anyone? Oh yeah. They are like, okay, women, we can't take this again. Mm. It is our mothers that can tolerate all this from mm. their husband. That the mm. husband will even bring another okay. woman on their matrimonial yeah. bed, yeah. and it will still be okay. Yes. And they will tell the wife to still cook for the husband and apologize and apologize and all those that. Mm. This women, this mm -hmm. generation, they, are, they call them woke generation. That's what mm -hmm. they call them. We and the, the lady did a kind of sarcasm, uh, sarcastic yes. video on TikTok that. How to treat your husband, your cheating, your cheating wife? Cheating wife mm. That you as a man go and watch uh, War Room. <laughs> <laughs> have, a corner, have a corner in your room that you be praying oh for, for your wife. And oh let the wife God. come back home. Let him let her be looking at me. So <laughs> that, okay, if you are a husband that you are fat, go and lose some weight. Go and Bake regularly, use uh, deodorant, you know, nice. no, smell nice, no, wash, no. Your, wash your boxer, uh, cook a favorite meal. Uh, what does she say again? She said, You got breakfast she, in bed. Yeah, break, breakfast in bed. <laughs> then, don't worry. Maybe she's your, she be, she's, she be, uh, the husband is the one you chose. Your wife will always come back to you. <laughs> you know, do you know what now, do, do you know what now surprised me most? I know went to the comment session. Mm. Come and see the way women were like, yes, speak it. Ha! Yes, I speak it. Ah. And I was like, Kilo mm. Shelley in this generation. Mm. That is like, is this kind of uh, turning around or trying to pay back, is it the right thing? Is it's it the standard? Down, you understand? Down. I think, you know, because we have less time, I, I, it's a topic I want us to talk about. Okay, I'm how to go? Because it is changing, it is turning around, and women are like, okay. We are taking over. In as much as a man, if I, she now says something that is coming, she, yeah, that is very funny. Say, women, don't worry, man. Women are polygamous in nature. You know, uh, you, know, women, <laughs> women are nature. you know, I was like, ah, she, is this person saying? Is is a sarcastic way, but you know, like um, the way women are taking some women are taking this. I think it's going to is something they are going to start, but they won't be able to finish because no, 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 <laughs> it's no, no. going to. But you, but, but the way they are taking this up and they are really being confident about this step they are taking mm. is go, is giving some other women confidence mm. to come out and to do some things and still beat their chest. I say I can do it. Mm. So I think it's something I want us to talk about mm. now, men. You know, it's easy for they say, okay, if, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to break this yeah, down yeah, so that I can I understand. understand. We are going to continue this one, obviously, next week. You know, we, 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 we've seen it around that it's really happening. It's what most people talk about, that, okay, men, they can't, they have so many reasons to go out, like what we talk about now, a man that, okay, the wife is deprived, okay, the, wife, the woman just put to bed and he can't have sex with her, he goes out. There's another story I saw, the lady is an SS. And she was just get, getting sick and sick often mm. and often. And the man said, okay, I can't. And they are already married. He actually loved the girl. Mm. They got married. And he was like, she's somebody that is sick. Will I be asking for sex from her? Mm. She, he had to go out to look for solace outside, I think, from his office. So, you know, anytime the lady has attack, it wasn't there for him. But at the same time, I was like, okay, I need to, I need to fulfill my desire as a man. So, you know... When we look at both sides, some women will be like, if you say you want to marry a woman, you marry her for who she is. No matter what she does, no yeah. matter who she is, you give her everything. What can you do that will now make a man say, okay, I want to go out for six solace? <laughs> you see that it's, <laughs> it's something that is so, I want us to just really talk about this reality that happens and goes on okay. in marriages. Mm. The truth about it, a man that will cheat will cheat. No matter what. Give him the best of the best. That mm. is it. 
a woman that would cheat would cheat. Sure. She would give her the best of the best. Mm. Whereas there are women that you can give little and, and they're still satisfied. They're yeah. satisfied and they just want to be themselves. Mm. And the truth about it is what will cheat actually give to you yeah. in both contexts, hmm. both a man and a woman? No. Sorry, okay. for, to answer that question, some people say in search for happiness. For okay. peace of mind. Peace of mind. No, 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 no. They call it. I think they call it a uh, work spouse or they're about like work okay. spouse, work spouse. husband. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's, I think it's it's very okay. common in common. Yeah, all these banking sectors. Uh, yeah, all this, sure. um, you mm -hmm. know, they will have somebody outside that. Okay, whenever they have issue with their wife, they go to for solace. The person, you know, sometimes if I was just calling. If, if you're having you know, issues with your, with your wife, wife mm -hmm. and you're going out to, to seek solace, to, to seek solace, I see you are somebody that that has a bit of of will I say inferiority complex? Hmm. If I want to cheat, let me go out because I want to cheat. That is because it. I have issues. I have issues. You and your yeah. wife should be able to discuss if you have issues. Sit at home and talk about it. Most men run away from issues, from staring them in the eyes, and they go to cheat and they go to the girl and tell it's her a lot of lies and say, my wife is too rude, she's too mm -hmm. saucy, she does not take care of Kiniko, mm -hmm. she's dirty, whereas reverse is the it's case. It's the case, yes. Mm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I've seen several issues like that where the men will come and tell you lies that their wife, whereas mm -hmm. I even have, I knew one of them that the wife, it was the wife's that connected him as an, as in to be traveling internationally. Mm. Wow. Hmm. Every of her money was what he was using. Hmm. And he will come, my wife doesn't know how to cook, she's this, She's that. She's spending my money. She's doing this. I want to divorce her. Hmm. Mama, wow. you are right. Wow. You see, on hmm. that divorce note, hmm. if you watch that kind of man, hmm. in another 10 years, he's telling you he's going to divorce his wife and he doesn't do anything about it. Hmm. Because you know why? He's living on the means of the wife. Yes. The wife. Hmm. But yet, he does not want to trash out the issues. What the issue is, what you will know. Hmm. Until you step into that boat, of that woman, you will understand better. what better what that woman is passing through. Hmm. So the truth about it, any woman that uses that as an excuse to me is or a failure or already. Any man, any, any man, man yes. that uses it as an excuse to it, me is a failure already. Sure, and you sure. come and tell me it's my wife that did it. My wife is always doing that. Yeah, my wife Can is both not of you see the marriage is about communication. I, I, I think on, on that, I think we have to have a man in the house because you know, yeah. so look at looking at where we started from. Going to seek solace or seeking after an extra affair yeah, yeah. because of a condition like this issue of this lady and sister, because you feel okay, yes. you can't meet up to the need, then mm -hmm. you open up exactly. your man outside. So people give other conditions that okay, the wife is not there for me, uh, my wife is not giving That's me enough me attention. Enough. You understand? And she used that as a reason to go out and look for another person to give him solace outside mm -hmm. and the women too that are like okay because my husband is looking outside let me too find Quiet. solace outside. you understand True. so you know that is what is actually after i think her, next week, our time is actually up now but you know it's a it's a very very wide topic that i think i want us to talk about the basis what really caused this where because where it is going in fact mm -hmm. like that trend now that is actually going now the way it is going if we start it yeah. We are not going to be able to manage it, honestly. And my fear is our upcoming generation. Sure. What are we trying to tell them? Our children, what do we tell them? What do we preach to them? What do we emulate to them? When they see this as a, as a standard, in fact, we, when some people, I saw, when I was reading some comments, they were like, if this is what marriage is all about, then what is the point yes, saying I want to yes, get married? Yes. You understand? As in 90% of the comments mm -hmm. on that post yeah. were women, and in fact, the few men that were there, in fact, the men, they were like, ah, all the men left the WhatsApp group. They were like, things that the men didn't comment. You know, but honestly, it's a very serious case. I think we need to look into before it eats up our society. Yeah, true. How? Oh, yeah. You say our time is up. <laughs> but, uh, let's hear a final note on this, on this case, because I know a lot of people are going through that and they don't even know how to come out of it. A lot of innocent girls have been yeah. into this issue that they don't know how to come out of it. Sorry, I remember a lady that called me. She sent a message to me on Facebook that uh, 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 the person she's living with 
is uh, is abusing the man mm. is abusing her mm. that she wants to run away from home. I think she's from Port Harcourt. I don't as a somewhere around that said that she wants to come. She wants to leave the place okay. and she wanted to come to Lagos. Mm. And you know, I knew she was looking for a place to stay to because stay. you know the only solution to that place is to get out. Okay. You know, for such lady, you know, so she was always talking to me and just seeking for help. Like, okay, what do I do? This is what I'm going to. I ask her, like, okay, have you talked to some people around maybe your church? Okay. Or was like, okay. it was like, he has tried to do so many things and it's not really working. And to even worsen the case, he said the man is a pastor and he mentioned the name of the church, it's a very popular church. So, you know, it would be very difficult for her to say, okay, this person did this to me. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people are going through that yeah. thing, is yeah. going through that, and they are looking for ways to come out of it. They've been, they've been hooked because of a condition. condition. You understand? So I think, how can we help? Maybe we should just round it up on that so that we will not just talk about this without even eating, uh, eating a point on this. How can we help? Yeah. First of all, we've, sorry, we've realized, that, okay, sometimes it could be the woman that is selfish yeah. sure. or the man that is maybe indisciplined, but yeah. how about the innocent girls that are maybe victim of this? How can we help them? Uh, they should always speak up because uh, this situation, this scenario we were talking about, not until the lady speaks up, you know, he spoke up and they, they, I, I am sure that there are people that are really as a standing up to help her. Oh, definitely. Mm. But we should, they shouldn't keep quiet uh, this time. Because hmm. so many things have gone wrong, as in, in this scenario. So whenever you see a signal like that, let's always speak out. Okay. And you know, like the situation you said, the one they said, Pastor. Mm. And you looked at who do you speak? Who do you trust to? again? Mm. Who do you trust? Mm. Should I go to the mommy Jew? Mm. Should I mm. go to a pastor in the church? Mm. Would they believe me? Mm. Even some people, can I can I speak to my parents? Will my parents believe mm -hmm. me? Because there's, there are some situations whereby uh, uh, things like that happen, and the the children will go to their parents to complain, and their parents will shut up when they that you, you understand and. <laughs> Just they would just cover it, and the, the, the girl would like that, that. Reminds me of a lady, she's a she's a fair fellow friend of mine to a counselor, too. Okay, and there was a time we we're doing a program like a healing program, uh, on 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 uh, in the class, and, and okay. they said we should talk about some some uh trauma oh. we've gone through. This mm. lady, you know, very pretty lady, I, I know this is a story she was able to come out that day, but I think it will be able to help. So that we can learn some things from yeah. it. She, I love the lady, but you know, I know I noticed that she always like to keep to herself. So that day she volunteered that she would talk about her experience. Mm. And we did that is a therapy process. Okay. And as she was saying it, she said maybe her uncle usually abused her. Mm. And she mm. tried to tell her mom. And what really broke her was her mom never believed her. Oh, yeah. Rather, they took her to church that she's possessed mm. and everything. And that broke her the more. And mm. she wasn't healed. She's an adult. Mm. She's she's married with children mm. now. That trauma is there for her. Mm. So you know, I think we need to really put that into consideration. Our parents, you know, when our children tell us some things, you know, you don't just it shut off. them up. Take it take up. It and at the same time, uh, Mama, before finally, let me just say my home final tip. When we we have people that come to us for solace on things on sensitive because it's a very sensitive it's issue serious. because a lot of things is at stake. Please, mm. number one. Have a trusted person you can talk to. A trusted person you How can talk know to. That the person is trusted. That's why we believe that most time maybe the sick therapist mm -hmm. or the sick spiritual leader that they know that okay, I can see my spirit mm -hmm. goes along. Mm -hmm. Anybody can be anybody can 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 mess up, anybody can betray yeah. you, actually. But at least spiritual leader that you trust so much some professionals I know because that's one of the ethics of cancer that people's secrets should always be secret, should yeah. be confidential. Yeah. Yeah. And we always uh, tell even their parents, except usually that has to do with maybe taking life. Okay. I've seen so many children that they confide in me about some things they go through yeah. and I can't tell and now before I tell their parents I'll ask them, can I tell their parents? And if they say no, I'll respect that. Mm -hmm. So please let's respect people's privacy. Like that issue that was put on social media, I think it should it should have gone to social media because apart from the images of the two the sister mm -hmm. that has yeah. been at stake, our own images are stake. Yeah. Yeah. Who yeah. wants you understand? So yeah. please people that you confide in confide with people that can really help, help you that won't yeah. use that against you and even if that 
are going to challenge the other person, not you look at it from an angle that what is the basis of this thing they are doing? Yeah. Is it for something? Is it the person? Does it mean that he has a mental health issue that makes him to do this? Are they in their right sense? Are they using it for ritual or for something else? You know, so let's try to look for the reason behind everything before we just mess things up. I think that's where I'm going to just wrap it up. Auntie mm -hmm. Vicky, just in one oh. 30 seconds, <laughs> okay. because we See, really. The truth about it is. Then we used to have what they call guidance and counsel. Okay. Now the truth about it is when you, you, you are looking up to someone up high there and the person abuses you, you, you kind of you you kind of you are taking aback mm -hmm. and you're lost. You really yes. don't know who to trust. Yes. Yes. trust. This is someone that says he's a man of God or is a woman mm -hmm. of God and you know and he's doing this to you. Yes. So before you can trust someone mm -hmm. you, you 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 find mm -hmm. yes. So I think maybe we should create opportunity for that. Look for where you can get someone that has to do with welfare when it has to do with guidance and counseling. Mm -hmm. Walk to that person. Your identity is covered. It's covered. Your identity is protected. Mm -hmm. Now talk to the person, open up to the person. Mm -hmm. Then there's this thing you children used to do these days. Okay. When you ask them, should I discuss with your parents? Yeah. They say no. Yes. Now you need to ask them why. why? You need to get to the bottom of it. Yes. Mm. Because of the way the parents yes. handle the situation. I know. I know. Do you understand? I know. But you as an adult, there's a way you can pass a message mm. across to the, to the parents. parents that will make them understand that, look, try, check, check, check out this out. thing. Yes. I think that's on it. that note, that's, yeah. that's another topic idea. How parents should deal with information they hear about their children. That's, that's, yes, that's what I'm going to talk it. about. If I do Sunday in church, you know, I'm the one that would think that <laughs> meaning they used to give us in church to talk about parenting tips. That's what I'm going to talk about. Our communication skill yeah. parents need to have um, with our children so that they can really get our trust. Because you know, I always say that the day my husband, my child told me that, mommy, will you shout if I tell you this? Mm. That will reset my mind that, yeah. ah, that means you used to shout. So ever since I've been trying to build that confidence so that my children, now my children, they tell me if they have crush. So if they say they have crush, I don't shout or like my my dear not tell them that I have crush. If they say they have crush, I say, okay, can I meet your crush? So please communication. Yes, we need to, yes, it's a topic we need to crush. talk about. <laughs> how we communicate things with people, with younger ones, and That's how it. we react to them. And That's people it. that confide in us, how do you handle it when they come to you and tell you yes, about things exactly. they are going through? Exactly. How do you take their secret? How do you deal with it? Do you blame them for it? Do you you understand know, communication with confidential? issue. How yeah. do we handle it? I think yeah. it's very important and, in people yeah, coming out. And, and this, you know some parents, they might not be able to know how to handle issues. If you know you don't, you, you don't know how to handle the issues, Seek please for help. Look, help, for, look help for, for help. help. Professional, so help. Yeah. Professional yeah. help. Yeah. On this note, oh, I think I need to uh, step I, down. I step down <laughs> uh, you need to step down. It's very good. <laughs> On this note, <laughs> yes. um, <laughs> on this note, uh, this is where we're going to wrap it up on just a chat with Bumi Alabi. I believe it's been an awesome moment and, you know, like I always say, we don't want to just come here to just chat, to just laugh mm -hmm. and just go away or to open up ourselves. These are the things people go through, people we go through, people we, things we experience ourselves, things we know that, okay, it is happening in our society and we talk about, we hear people's view, hear our, our views and talk about how we can we hear our views and talk about how we can just help ourselves to create a better society. And I believe you've learned something from today's episode. Next week, we are going to continue more on this. And that's the issue of having a work spouse and work. Yes, work spouses. Mm -hmm. What makes a man or a woman say he wants to go out to seek for solace? So we come your way again next week on Just a Child with Bibi Alabi. Auntie Vicky, Ooh. thank you for coming. Bye, and everybody. And Emoji, birthday girl. <laughs> thank you. See, we've stressed you today because it's your birthday this week. We're sorry for that. It's not me. It's what we're doing for the society. I'm, I'm thank you. So we come your way again next week. Bye. Uh. Bye.